Hello folks, this is 2021, May, June, paper 1, 2, and the question number is 10. As the diagram represents, it belongs to collision somewhat. So it says, a nitrogen molecule P, P, traveling at a speed of 320 meter per second, speed, in a vacuum, collides with a stationary nitrogen molecule Q. So that means uh, the velocity of this Q equal to 0, and this is U of P equal to. After the collision, P travels at a velocity of 180 meter per second. So it is VP, uh, VP at an angle of 45 degree to the original path. Q travels in a direction at an angle of 34 degree, 30 degree to the initial part V. So it should be VQ. Let us say it is VQ. So before collision, after collision. Assume that there are no initial forces acting on the molecule. So the only force is between them and no other forces. What's the magnitude V of the velocity of Q after the collision? So we have to find the value of this VQ. Now the initial momentum before the collision is collision is uh, total initial momentum is equal to uh, momentum of this thing. So it is a uh, mass of uh, let us say m only m into u p plus this thing mass of this u q u q equal to mass is m u p is 320 plus it is 0 and simply it is m into 320 now after collision so this this momentum we are taking in this direction so we have to take the momentum of these two in this direction the momentum of these two in this direction so total final momentum in this direction is equal to so mass into its mass is m m into vp vp in this direction is equal to cos cosine so it is cos of 55 degree plus its will have mass into vq and again cos again cos it is 34 degrees so we are taking both cosine because we are having the component in the direction with the angle so that's why both cos cos now in this direction the total momentum should be same should be constant so that's why we must have we must have m into 320 should be equal to m vp cos 55 degree plus m vq cos of 34 degree so this m m m goes so what remains here is uh, vq cos 34 degree is equal to 320 minus vp cos 55 degrees equal to 320 minus vp so vp is equal to 180 cos 55 degrees so this gives us this is equal to or i can say i can say or vq equal to 320 minus 180 cos of 55 degrees by 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 3 cos of 34 degrees so when do the calculations it gives me it gives me so it is 320 minus bracket uh, cos 55 uh, this equal to uh, divided here we have got uh, cos 34 cos 34 equal to so it has given me, given me, given me. So it will give us, it will give us a 320 minus 180 cos, 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 cos 55 divided cos 34. Uh, equal to, so I have to use proper brackets here. I have to use proper brackets. So I'm using proper brackets. This. 
so the use of bracket is very very essential here so I'm doing yes so this has given me given me 261.46 meter per second so when I write it in two significant figures it becomes a 260 meter per second and if you go through the answers question number D is the correct answer so I took a little bit of time in uh, uh, changing in uh, doing proper calculation so the calculator reads properly only when we use brackets properly okay this is the correct choice